Purple Rain, Prince. It's on Patreon. It was spectacular. Album. Dude, it yeah, was actually. really good. It's on Patreon right now. Plus, we just hit Parental Logic. That's coming out some amount of time from now, middle of the month probably. And so you get right. Prince, Steely Dan, three singles, back catalog, hundreds of stuff. You haven't seen it on here. Check it out. Less than a cup of coffee. Link in the description. Back to the video. Hey, guys. Hope you're having a great day as well as a great life. As well as a great life. What he said. That was me trying to be a race car with my voice. Really? <laughs> yeah. Worked out it's pretty decently. Good. If you watch it back, it's a pretty spot on impression. You think so? Uh, yeah. Went up higher pitch, lower pitch. This was a 90s poll. Pretty excited to get back to the 90s. Try to put effort in to make it not just grunge songs. I think worked out pretty nice. I'm excited. There's some big, big songs. The winner of this is Mr. Jones. It's got like 700 million. So, I mean, like three quarters of a billion plays. Yeah. That's a lot. There's probably a decent chance we've heard something from it. Maybe. I'm excited to hear. Usually when it gets that big, there's some element of like, yeah, usually, I recognize Usually anything it. like. That's commercial sized. Like yeah, in a commercial huge. size. That's a huge yeah. song. So, so there's a lot of really close ones on this. Probably going to end up hitting most of these. Most of these probably. Uh, I know actually one of them in specific we're looking at that was super heavily requesting the comments like, damn, we want this, we want this, we want this, we want this. Yeah, I think it was like fading to me or something like that. Mazzy Star? Yeah. Miozzy Star is what I was on the poll. I spelled it Muzzy because I'm a terrible human being. You spelled it Muzzy or Miozzy. Yeah, it was like M-U-Z-Z-Y. M-I-U-Z-Z-Y. No. -uh. It was there's an I in there, dude. There's an I in there. It was No. It was a rough interpretation. Is it really? It was a oh, rough geez. interpretation. Yeah. Am I oh gosh. It's okay, dude. You you got vowels in there. That wasn't Mazzy Star, I'm sorry. That was the goal. You just got the wrong one. It's, uh, That's hilarious. Yeah. Well, we will definitely get into fading to you at some point, but for now, Mr. Jones. Count of Crows, let's do it. Wow, I love that tremolo. Cause 
Goodness, goosebumps, goosebumps, bro! Impeccable, incredible song. I've heard that chorus, but incredible song. Yeah, the melody specifically. Oh man, and the Sha La La was the main thing I recognized. Oh, I didn't recognize that as much, but I recognized the Mr. Jones and me. Mm. Um, wow, lyrically, great lyrics, incredible great storytelling. All I was thinking as this was going is I was like, up until the the Bob Dylan line, is mm. I was going like, dang, this feels like. Uh, Van Morrison meets Bob Dylan. Dude! Is that what you were thinking? Uh, yes. Yeah? Yes. It's right on, brother. The Van Morrison part specifically. Yeah. I, the lyrics is the, the only vo- thing The vocal style felt... Van Morrison. Yes. Yeah, it had like a Van Morrison yep. vocal style and Bob Dylan-esque lyrics. Yes. God, that's... God, we're good. Dude, we're good. So this is why we have a shack, you know? Um, we finally got enough context to make some connections. A little bit. Just a, the tiny thread of neurons firing and synapses <laughs> connecting to form one coherent thought. And we got it, dude. We got it together. <laughs> dude, that was a great God. song. That's such a great song. Yeah. Uh, I mean, there's so many elements of this I love, right? So, for one, not just melodically, <clears throat> everything that's happening is incredible. His charisma vocally, incredible. Oh, yeah. The drummer, fantastic. The rhythm with the vocals, too, at different points. Fantastic. In the verses. He's doing certain flams on certain hits that are just yep. great. Uh, and then, man, lyrically, I just want to dive in a bit, because there's a couple, the, the, the laugh he does where he's like, you know, she's, he thinks he's staring at, at him. <laughs> I don't think so. She's, st- he's st- yeah, she's staring yeah. at me is like such a fun like it brings you to a space of like you're with your buddy and it's like a cute girl on the other side somewhere mm-hmm. and you're like oh dude she's definitely looking at me and he's like no <laughs> i'm pretty sure she's looking at me yeah and it's just a fun it like has a fun banter to it yeah it's but playful there's also an element of insecurity that mm. runs through it where it's like the whole time he's talking up mr jones yeah and he's like I want to be basically. I want to be Mr. Jones, mm-hmm. and Mr. Jones wants to be somebody slightly more funky than him. But mm-hmm. like when everybody loves him, there's not really much place to go. Mm. And it's like he's right. Like Mr. Jones is where he needs to be. Also, you're where you need to be. Mm-hmm. And but it's just this beautiful, like honest insecurity and desire, and like going. I want this. I don't know why. I I don't know how to get it. Even if I did, mm-hmm. and being kind of okay with that just voicing it yeah, like just being vulnerable wow just simply and, and, astonishing and then yeah like the first two times it's like no she's looking at me and then the third time it's like we start the beautiful woman she's perfect for you man yes. there's got to be somebody for me yeah which i find that like cool dude goosebumps like goosebumps just a great song it's a great song dude it's a great song even the riff in the beginning was just nice like it felt like it had that that special mute like magic of the yeah song which is in the first like three seconds i don't think they're doing any weird chords it's just it's just done well yeah like literally listen to the first like three seconds Like just so, right. something about it, you can just tell it kind of has the magic of one of those songs. And it is weird because like there is a magic quality to something mm-hmm. like that where it's like I don't know if it's the way it was recorded or the energy that was there. Like there's something incapturable. There's some kind essence. of stars alignment that happens with some songs where you have that. And this is one. And yeah. it's like the God. fact that it was that magic quality and it was right because mm-hmm. it's like it easily could have sounded like that and been bad. Like, yeah. the rest of the song could have not been as good as it was, but it was. Yeah. You know? So. And it's crazy, because with songs like that, there's something about when you hear the first five seconds, and you know the song's, like, going to hold up. Yeah. 
You know what I mean? Yeah. Like very rarely do you get that feeling early on and the song falls apart or, or like, I actually can't reflect usually, on a time that it was, you know, they're, they're like, we were talking about that one hall note song. What's the bit, the biggest one? Make the, my dreams come true. Make my dreams come true. In the first three seconds, you're like, this is a hit. Mm -hmm. Like I could stop it here and unquestionably know this is a hit. Yeah. Like it has that magic. Yeah. And this is a similar one. Like it, it, just so powerful. God, what I love, the, love the lines in the first verse too. Where it's um paints a beautiful picture. Yeah, we're beautiful. Uh, picture. So come dance the silence down through the morning. Yeah, like glorious, dude. Yeah, just uh, and it's I, so interesting. Even the pass me a bottle, Mister Jones is good. Yeah, like pass me a bottle, Mister Jones. Like, I think what makes this song so special so too good. is it feels like there's so much present and gratitude in everything, while at the same time being vulnerable to like you wanting more, reaching for more. Yeah. Yeah. Cut it up, Maria. Like, like, You're show so me some playful. of that Spanish dancing. If I knew Picasso, I'd buy myself a guitar, a great guitar, and play. Like, so many fun lines. Yeah, yeah. Like, this is great, simply great, incredible. Great song. Simply incredible. Um, rating, I guess. Right. So, yeah. Yeah. All right. Three, two, one. A plus. A plus. Almost went S. Same. I was really close to it. Period. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. It probably is S. I mean, like, why do you why why do you think we delineate? Um, because it does feel it does feel timeless. It does feel timeless. It does feel like uh, generation defining to some capacity. I don't know. It's, I don't know. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. It's fair. I mean, I went. I just said the same thing. It's it's a really powerful song. It's, yeah. I have no marks against it. It's a perfect song. It is a perfect song. But I don't think every perfect song is an S. Mm. And I think you know an S when you hear one. And I think both of us would have... I, if you had said S, I would have been like, fuck, am I wrong? I almost said S. I know, but we neither of us did. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, it, but it's a, perf it's a perfect song. I think it's a perfect song. Like, there was literally nothing about this that wasn't immaculate. So, yep. Take that to the bank. Cash it in. Get yourself six nickels. Hopefully, they're buffalo nickels. Yeah. Keep those in a sock for your kids. Everyone's probably like at home like, you guys are silly. We are silly. S all day long. Oh, well, we're silly for other reasons, but maybe also that. Yeah, probably. Probably. Uh, we'll see. Dude, I'm wild. <laughs> Let us know what to hit next. Uh, probably hitting Mazzy Star next week. Let us know. See ya. Yep, peace. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you want to get a good time watching that video, you want to upvote the video, subscribe if you're not already. Check out some other videos here on the YouTube or on the Patreon if you want extra juicy stuff you can't get on YouTube because...